Hello everyone. Welcome for the course Electrical Designing and Drafting. If you are a beginner or experienced who wants to understand and enhance the skill in the area of electrical right from the scratch, then this course is meant especially for you. So before starting the course, we have to understand the basics of electrical engineering and the basics of electrical designing. So here, what is mean by electrical? Electrical is nothing but the study of electricity and electronics. Designing means we are going to work with calculations, especially with respect to the commercial, residential, or any domestic based projects. What is mean by drafting? So drafting is nothing but the outline sketch which, which we are going to frame. So this course has been divided into six modules or six parts. So in the first part, we are going to understand about the basics of electrical engineering. So you can see in the first chapter, we are going to understand the basics of the basic concepts of electrical designing, especially in the area of MEP. Okay, so what we are going to understand in the basics, we are going to understand some basic terms like what is meant by voltage, what is meant by current, what is meant by conductor, what is meant by insulator. All these things, the basic concepts we are going to understand over here. In the next, you can see the basics of electrical engineering. Okay, so in the basics of electrical engineering, we are going to understand some theorems. Okay, like what is mean by electron theory? Okay, what are the different types of loads we have and how we are going to classify the voltage as well as electricity? Because when you talk about electrical loads, it has been classified into three types. First one is nothing but the resistive load, the inductive load and the capacitive loads. When you talk about the classification of voltage levels in electrical distribution system, the voltage has been classified into five to six different levels based upon the capacity, based upon the demand. And when you talk about the classification of electricity means in terms of generation in terms of distribution as you can see that electricity we are going to generate with different different sources like we have a hydro plant diesel plant okay we have different different renewable energy sources also so whatever the amount of energy which we have generated that we are going to transmit by means of ac line by means of dc line or i can say as high voltage alternate current line or high voltage direct current line so all the basic concepts of electrical engineering we are going to understand in the chapter one next you can see Okay, about the chapter two. So in the chapter two, we are going to understand the basic concepts of power. What is mean by power? In simple words, I can say that power is nothing but product of voltage and current. So here in electrical systems and designing, the power has been classified into three types. The first one is nothing but active power and the apparent power and the reactive power. So what is mean by active power? The active power can also be called as a true power or a real power. Different, different people are giving different, different names and terms over here. But at last I can conclude that everything means the same over here. Next apparent power. Okay. Whatever the power which we are getting, that is actually the apparent power. We have the last nothing but reactive power that means whatever the power which is helping us to boost up the supply that will be your reactive power okay so with respect to these basic formulas we are going to find out the amount of current the amount of power in terms of kilowatt in terms of kva so this is very very important fundamental concept next talking about calculation of current by using thumb rule remember that in the complete course we are going to work with general calculations Okay, as well as the thumb rule calculation also. General calculation means following the literatures and the manufacturing data. Whereas thumb rule is nothing but the shortcut method to crack the interviews, I can say, or for the quick answers. In the next chapter three, okay, this is totally theoretical based where we are going to understand the abbreviations and synopsis. So here in this topic, we are going to understand the different different electrical equipments like different distribution boards what we have different circuit breakers we have different different electrical small equipments or the components etc again talking about codes and standards in electrical systems we have some specific codes like we have the nec we have iec we have IEEE. same like that in the mechanical area we have like ashray is ishray smagna etc again when you talk about the plumbing and firefighting there also we have some more standards okay like we have the p and etc. In the next topic, here you can see we have got the lux level standards. What is mean by lux? Lux is actually the amount of brightness which we require in the room. So based upon the lux level only, we are going to find out the number of lamps or number of lighting fixtures. Again, you can see we have got the load details for different electrical equipments. 
when you talk about electrical designing and drafting the first thing for any electrical engineer is to find out the total connected load in terms of kilowatt or in terms of kva so one can able to find out the total connected load if he is aware with the power consumption with different different electrical equipments again you can see we have got the basic concepts of electrical engineering how to save electrical power okay like for example when i'm going to select any device so we have got different different devices in the market out of all those devices which is very efficient okay which is very satisfactory for me so those things we are going to discuss in the last topic okay so these are the three chapters what we have with respect to the first part with the first module okay so if you are from non electrical background like if you are from mechanical background or even if you are from architect interior designer or anyone no need to worry because we are coming from the scratch to the higher level i hope we'll meet in the next phase with respect to the part 2 thank you for watching the video take care mm -hmm.